Darumaka and Darmanitan are special Pokemon in the Black and White games. Darumaka is a Zen Charm Pokemon with a fire burning inside it that dwindles when it's tired. The only important thing from its text entries is that its poops are particularly warm. It evolves into the Blazing Pokemon at level 35, which is historically a pretty good attacker. Darmanitan has a special form that comes with its hidden ability Zen Mode, which is pretty bad competitively, but it's the reason the Pokemon is one of my favorites. Zen Mode completely changes Darmanitan's stat distribution when its HP is below 50, and while its base stat total is higher, it loses the speed to boost defenses and then switches its offensive stats. Unfortunately, being slower when you're below 50% health sucks. Being Psychic type doesn't help either. With my new form, I'll try to make Zen Mode a little better. Darmanitan's regular ability Sheer Force is great, and really makes use of its fire typing, huge attack stat, and usable speed. Our setting is the Opelucid region, which is like Asui in Legends Arceus, but it's Unova and in the future. I swear I'll change this to spell extinct correctly at some point, but I'd have to remake the whole slide which would take me like 5 minutes and I don't feel like it. In the drop state of Opelucid, Darumaka lost its flame. They didn't turn the other way and begin to absorb energy, but are almost in a dead state of room temperature stone. They're definitely alive, but prefer not to move much. Many people like to eat them as a pet rock kind of thing. They're easy to take care of and only need to eat about once a week. Just a nice little friend to have around and hang out. So yeah, for the design, I'm going for a cute little stone doll. They've got big eyes and imagining a doink doink sound effect when they blink. <laughs> Their owners paint them with bright colors so they've got three differently colored forms with a shiny for each form that's more of a cold gray base rather than the brown. Here's the final art. Darumaka is a psychic rock type Pokemon with the ability Inner Focus and Hidden Ability Hustle. It's got a bad typing for a slow and bulky Pokemon, but it might be fun early game with its good special attack. Unfortunately, the only special rock type attack it learns is Ancient Power, so it would probably rely more on Psychic to deal damage. I kind of love this guy. I would totally keep him around if all I had to do was feed him a berry every few days and give him hugs. I think I would keep the red one, but there's also a blue color variant and a green one. Here's a little page showing them with the shiny forms on the right and its move pool in the middle. In case you were wondering, there's no difference between the variants other than aesthetic. Kind of like Floet or Minior. Darumaka doesn't learn a whole big variety of moves, but they don't have to. This Pokemon is lovely regardless. Not everyone who owns Darumaka just wants to chill out with it though. Those who battle with Darumaka can train it into a super powerful Pokemon. For the design, I took a lot of inspo from Zen Mode, and you could probably guess where I'm going with this one. Darm still doesn't move much, but he looks kinda angry anyway. Only strong trainers can get it this strong, but a Darumaka that reaches level 50 can evolve into Darmanitan. Darmanitan is a psychic rock type Pokemon with the ability Magic Guard and hidden ability Zen Mode. It learns Rock Wrecker, which becomes a special attack if it would be stronger, and it doesn't require recharge if it KO'd the opponent. It learns a decent variety of special attacks and a wide variety of physical ones, with plenty of status moves too. And as you can see, it has three color variants as well. Its stats are just the Zen Darm we're used to, but worse, and Magic Guard probably wouldn't get used much. Such a slow Pokemon with 7 weaknesses and subpar defenses just isn't going to get used over Zen Mode, which turns around the worst of those problems. This form of Darmanitan would be like one of those gargoyles you see by rich people's houses, as kind of a spiritual guardian. Only strong trainers or people who know strong trainers would be able to have them around, and ones without the hidden ability tend to get given away while the Zen Motors are kept by the strong trainer. Let's talk about Zen Mode. As you could have guessed, my idea for this is that I'm basically reversing the forms for Zen Mode. Standard is a slow special attacker, while Zen Mode is going to be the energetic fast physical attacker. It awakened the fire inside and can wreck a dump truck in a single punch. I thought about the rock breaking to make it fighting psychic, fire psychic, or even fire fighting, but I ended up settling on rock fighting. It would be funny if it suddenly got Krilla tactics after transforming, but I'm sticking with the Zen Mode thing so it still has to transform back if it somehow goes back over 50% health. Here's the final art. 
Zen Darmanitan is a strong physical attacker, kind of like regular Terrakion. It can Bazinga on its opponents with Rock Rocker or Super Power, and Swords Dance or even Belly Jump to absolutely annihilate anything in its path. Luckily, it's not too fast, so it's definitely possible to counter it. Darm is a super strong wall breaker that also doubles as a good attacker if you're against anything else. While the fact it has to be under 30% would usually make it easier to counter, I like the idea that they'd have to predict whether you're a belly drummer or a basic choice item or something else, so they wouldn't be sure whether to switch out to something that could Oko standard form or just do enough damage so you can't belly drum. Sorry if that I didn't explain that super well, I try my best. I'm imagining Zen Darm is kind of a superhero that travels around Appaloosid helping Pokemon that are hurt. Maybe he works alongside that Blissey I made a while ago too. And that's about it for this video, sorry if it was kind of short. Check out my Patreon which you can subscribe to for just a dollar a month to support me and get your name at the end of my videos. Thanks Captain Kobot. My next Pokemon video will be on making new evos for old Pokemon. I'm excited for that one too, honestly I feel proud of a lot of the videos I've been putting out lately. Hope to see you come back for more, and thanks for watching!